One Pager Express is a project timeline app that works directly with Excel, and through Excel can also build timelines from other project management tools like Smartsheet, Primavera P6, and more. One Pager is designed to take the project plan or plans that you already have and quickly create eye-catching, communicative, and data-driven visuals that look like you spent hours painstakingly creating them in PowerPoint. Because OnePager works with the Excel data that you already have, it's much faster and much more accurate than building reports by hand. OnePager will save you time when you first create a chart, and it will save you time again and again as you update that chart over the course of your project. Here's how OnePager Express works. We'll start with a simple Excel project plan. This can be a project that you built from the ground up in Excel, or it could be something exported from a different project management system like Primavera or Smartsheet. OnePager is very flexible, and it can import various Excel layouts. Here, we have a task name, a start date, and a finish date, and each task is listed in its own row in the Excel file. This is the basic layout that OnePager expects. If you want to track more details in your project, like percent complete, resource information, or baselines, you can do that as well, but it's not required. We also recommend including a unique ID in your Excel file. Think of a unique ID as a serial number or a fingerprint for each task. Here, we've just given each task a number, which will work fine so long as the number doesn't repeat and as long as the given task always keeps its originally assigned number even if you add or remove tasks from the spreadsheet later. Optionally, you can also decide to add a filter field to decide which tasks and milestones from Excel should be included in one pager. This is useful if you have a large number of tasks and only want to report on some of them. If your Excel file is smaller, you can just tell one pager to import everything. If you do use a filter field, one pager will import everything with a yes in that field. If you don't want to import something, just leave it blank. With your task selected, go to the Add-ins tab of Excel and click the One Pager Express button. If you don't have an Add-ins tab in Excel, you can also launch One Pager from your Windows Start menu or Desktop shortcut. On the Start screen, click New to begin building a new chart. One Pager will provide you with an import wizard that will ask a few questions about how you would like your chart to look. At the top, one pager will tell you which file, or files, it is planning to import from Excel to create your chart. By default, one pager will select whatever you already have open in Excel, but if you need to add more files to create a multi-project report, you can click on the Add Remove button. For this example, though, we'll continue with just a single project plan. The template defines the initial look and feel of the chart that you're about to create. As you become a more advanced user, you can create your own custom templates, but for now, we'll just use one of the standard ones. After that, give your chart a name. As discussed earlier, OnePager gives you the option to decide which tasks and milestones to include in your chart. This is where we can decide to filter based on an Excel field or just import everything. The snapshot date is the status date of the report that you're about to create. Over time, you can update this same chart with a different date, which will enable OnePager to track changes to your project as they happen. Typically, when creating a new chart, you can just set the snapshot date to today's date. Click Next, and OnePager will let you review which fields from Excel it's planning to use. Here again, if you have a relatively simple spreadsheet, OnePager will pre-select the correct fields for you, but it's always a good idea to make sure that the fields one pager plans to use are the ones that you want. Everything looks good, so we can click on Create New Chart to kick off the import process, which usually goes pretty quickly. Once all of the data is imported from Excel and the initial settings from the template have been applied, one pager will render your chart. If you like the chart as it is and you don't see a need to make any formatting changes or other adjustments, it's easy to share your one pager chart with others. Just click the copy button on the home tab and then paste your one pager chart into PowerPoint or pretty much anywhere else. In all likelihood, when you first create a one pager chart, it'll look pretty good, but you still may need to change a setting here and there to get it looking perfect. 
While one pager does support basic point-and-click editing, much like PowerPoint, the fastest and most accurate way to adjust your formatting is by using the Chart Properties button on the Home tab. Any settings that you adjust using Chart Properties will be data-driven, which means that you can rely on the information you already have in Microsoft Project to drive the look and feel of your chart. On top of that, any changes you make to Chart Properties can be easily turned into a template down the line. So if you need to create the same style of report for a bunch of different projects, you can set things up once and then recycle those settings again and again. We have a separate video that covers Chart Properties in more depth, so for this introduction, we'll cover the main highlights. One of the most popular features of OnePager are swim lanes, which lets you group and sort your report into sections. Back in Excel, notice that we have a field called Phase, where each task is assigned to a phase of the project. To enable swim lanes and group by phase, go to Home, Chart Properties, Rows and Swim Lanes. OnePager Express supports up to three levels of nested swim lanes, but let's start with the leftmost for now, turning it on, and choosing the Phase field out of the dropdown. When we click OK, OnePager is going to regroup and resort everything based on the phase, and the phase names will appear on the left-hand side of the chart. Back in Excel, notice that we also have a field that tracks the work stream. In this example, there are multiple work streams within a phase. We can use the work stream to create a second level of swim lanes in OnePager Express. Return to the Rows and Swim Lanes tab and click on the tab for the second level of swim lanes. In the dropdown, select Work Stream and click OK again. OnePager will add a second level of swim lanes for the work stream that is inside the level of swim lanes that we originally set up for the phase. A third grouping can be added just as easily. Another frequently used setting is the layout, whether you want to create a timeline or a Gantt. If we return to the Rows and Swim Lanes tab, notice that we're currently set up to create a Gantt chart with one task per row. We can change this setting to create a timeline, in this case based on the work stream. Before we switch to a timeline view, Let's give each row in the chart a little extra space, which will improve readability. You can do this by going to the Page Layout tab and increasing the default height of each row. With these changes made, we can click OK, and OnePager will automatically align all tasks that have the same work stream left to right in a single row, giving you a series of timelines for each one. Notice that when you place multiple tasks left to right in a timeline, OnePager automatically optimizes the positioning of your task and milestone names as well. This helps avoid overlapping text and greatly improves readability. Color can add a lot of depth to your OnePager chart, and there are a number of different ways that you can assign different colors to your tasks and milestones. While you can change colors manually in OnePager, we strongly recommend setting up your color assignments through chart properties just like the other data-driven options. To do this, go to Home, Chart Properties, and then to either the Taskbars or Milestones tab. On the right-hand side, you'll see that Quick Color Coding is already assigned by Resource. This means that for each resource in the project plan, one pager will assign a different color. Just like your swim lanes, you can switch this to any other field from your project plan to quickly change how colors are assigned. However, if you'd like more control over how colors are assigned, as well as which shapes are applied to your tasks and milestones, OnePager's patented conditional formatting engine is going to be a much more powerful option. To get started with conditional formatting, we'll first turn off the basic color assignment by switching everything to use one color by default. Now, click on the Manage Rules button to create conditional formatting rules. In conditional formatting, we want to pick the field from Excel that we want to evaluate and what value we want to look for. Common fields for conditional formatting include status, resource assignment, phase, and task name or category. In this example, we'll assign formatting based on the task name. 
Each of our work streams represents a sequence of five repeating tasks and milestones, so we can set up five rules to assign a different format to each family of tasks. For example, this first rule states that anything named kickoff should be blue. We can copy that rule four more times to capture the other conditions. Now we have a unique color for each type of task. Conditional formatting is not limited to only color. It can also be used to assign shapes instead, which is especially useful for milestones. Currently, all of the milestones in our chart are diamond shapes, but we can assign different shapes to different types of milestones conditionally. Let's modify the existing rules for our milestones to not only assign a color, but also assign a shape. The kickoff milestone can be a triangle, and the launch milestone can be a star. Once these rules are applied, we immediately see the shapes change in the chart without any need for manual editing. In fact, now that we have the names of our tasks represented by colors and shapes, we don't really need all of that extra text in the chart. So going back to Chart Properties and to the Taskbars tab one more time, we can turn off the task and milestone label text. Your one-pager chart is a living document. As you make changes to your project plan, you can refresh your chart to get a real-time update and even track changes over time. If you've just built your one-pager chart and you've made some adjustments to your project plan, you can pull these updates into OnePager by going to the Data tab and clicking the Replace Snapshot button. This will re-import your information from Excel while preserving any formatting that you've already established in the chart. OnePager also lets you refresh your chart over time and track those incremental updates on a weekly or monthly basis. This is because OnePager supports multiple snapshots at different dates within the same chart. Remember that when we first created the example chart, we did so as of today's date. Let's go back into Excel and adjust a few tasks. Now in OnePager, we can click the Add Snapshot button and specify a second snapshot date three weeks from today. OnePager will go back to Excel and will re-import the newer version of the schedule, but instead of simply updating the chart as we did before, it will create a second snapshot in the same report, so we now have one version of the chart from today and one version three weeks from today. If we go to the View tab, we can zoom in a little bit and see the changes that OnePager just made. We can also see a list of available snapshots. We can use the Previous and Next buttons to navigate between the snapshots to visualize how the project has changed between the two updates. As we flip back and forth between these two snapshots, notice the animation that takes place in the chart. The tasks themselves are moving left and right, because they are tied to the dates in Excel. The percent complete bars, shown here in yellow, also change as the project changes. The baselines, if you're tracking them in Excel, don't move. They stay put, which gives you a good sense for your original plan compared to the current state of the project. For more information, please watch our other videos, or you can visit us at onepager.com forward slash support or email us at support at onepager.com.